Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I had a viewer ask me a question recently, and he asked the question, do you think it's worth upgrading to the SP9? The 8 has some really good deals right now, and the specs are so similar on both devices. This is from Spiderweb. Um, thank you for this question. I think this is very pertinent to a lot of us. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Microsoft Store and take a look at this. Now, when we're doing this comparison, what I want you to keep in mind is this is the specific device that I recommend for note taking and for artists if you're looking for what is the, the cheapest good option. Now, if you're doing something else, if you're trying to game, I highly recommend you look at the Surface Laptop Studio, the i7 model with the 3050 Ti, uh, if you need something to also draw on as well. If you're looking to do mostly Zoom calls, you have a lot of online meetings, and you use the stylus for note taking and drawing, then the Surface Pro 9 5G, the ARM version, is your best choice. In this video, we're going to be looking at drawing and note taking on the Surface Pro 9 or 8. What is the best deal? Is it worth the upgrade to the 12th gen Intel processor? My answer is no, it's not. We're going to go ahead and look at these prices right now. If you look over here at the Surface Pro 9, you'll see that my price is starting at about $100 less than the list price. This is because I have enabled the student discount. The student discount is for students, parents, for military, and for teachers. So if you are any one of those, they uh, have not done a DNA test on my children yet, and there is no real criteria for uh, that except for you just sign up for it. And uh, it's pretty easy to get that 10% discount. Uh, watch the video I have on how to save about 25% on this purchase uh, through a couple easy steps, easy tricks. And I'll put the link to that video in the description. Okay, so looking at these two devices, we're not seeing an increase in graphics. The, the integrated GPU both have the Intel XE graphics. Both of these processors, there's a cheaper version of the Pro 9, $100 cheaper, that does not have Intel Evo. I don't think that one is worth it. Um, maybe for just note taking, for drawing, get this one. So there's $200 difference, basically a $200 difference in between these two devices. Don't get the 128 gigabyte SSD version. I don't think that's enough. I think that's going to be problematic. I've had and still own a Surface Go 2 with 128 gigabytes, and I find myself uninstalling different things and managing that uh, because of... Uh, it's just not enough for me. So drawing experience is supposed to be exactly the same on the Pro 9 and Pro 8. I've heard that there's improvements, have not been able to confirm that in inking. There's no difference in the screen, as far as I know. Uh, and uh, otherwise, these are pretty close to exactly the same machine. So I'm looking at these prices, $200 difference for the Pro 9, I really don't think it's worth it for this situation. All that said, here is what I want to show you that is better than this and something that I feel very confident as a good option if you're looking at buying the Pro 8 or the Pro 9 based off the deals. Okay, so let's hop over here to Best Buy. Some of you are not going to have a Best Buy near you. For those who do, check this out. Here we have the exact same device, Microsoft Surface Pro 8 i5, 8GB, Intel Evo, $899, not a better price. Open box from $629 is a better price. I will take a Surface Pro 8 with a couple scratches, no problem, I don't mind at all, if it's roughly three or $400 cheaper. And here it is. So this, get it today, well, we can't get it today, but $629, open box fair, satisfactory, this is good, excellent, don't bother, it's basically $50 less, and Microsoft support is considerably better than Best Buy's, in my opinion. All right, so if this is interesting to you, use this. If you don't have the Tablet Pro software, this is a huge benefit to anyone who has a touchscreen and stylus. Here you can see there are panels specific to different applications. If you do video editing 
or drawing or use OneNote. DaVinci Resolve, Rebel, uh, and these are all customizable. So get that. That's a great way to upgrade the pen and touch functions on your uh, tablet, your two-in-one. It's a great way to say thank you to me and support this channel, as well as getting something that's going to be very useful. Make sure you watch the video where I talk about how to save close to 25% off the cost of the Surface Pro 9. Watch that video. It'll apply to the Surface Pro 8 as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you found this useful, then consider a super thanks as a way to say thank you and subscribe to this channel for more like this. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day. My hair looks like a wave. Like there should be a little surfer right here.